Hey guys, welcome back. So previously I showed you how to display these errors using JavaScript and Ajax. With Django, you're going to have some time where you need to display errors straight from the app. Like you don't have to do an API. When we create an account, we don't want to make an Ajax port. We want to be able to send out like a response, like something like uh, account created successfully. Please verify your email straight from the app without doing Ajax calls and all this stuff. So to do that, Django ships with the messages framework. So they give us an app that we can use. So when you come to the Django website, you can actually read more about the documentation. But what happens is it's it, it comes set up already. So I'm just going to go to a section where they show us how to display messages in the template. So if you look at this, so basically there will be, a, depending on the storage you, have, you use, there will be somewhere where messages are stored. So for it, the template has always look at the messages and then see if there are any messages and then display them. So I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to copy this here such that we can start with it. So if we look at it from here, let me just paste it a bit. You can see that it's looping through messages and then displaying like a list of messages. So this is something that can be very convenient to use the pattern of partials, such that we can always have it in one template and we can always include it in any other template we want to show the alerts. So I'm going to copy this and then in, in our partials, I'm going to create a, a file called messages.html. I'm going to paste it here so we can start with it. So right here, they are showing us that uh, there will be messages tag and then each class is going to, pre to be prefixed with uh, the, the so it's going to have a CSS class of, of messages depending on the on the tags here the tags are basically going to be error info success and warning so if with those you can write classes to style it but since we are using bootstrap I'm going to show you, show you a way that you can style it using bootstrap yeah this was I think they were using it for testing I'm going to remove it such that for us we just display the message once we have that one now we need to display it somewhere in our app so if you go to like our form here let's say we want to tell you that account was maybe created so right here we can include our file we've already seen how to do that so you can write include so when you write include and after you set up your template you're going to know where to look for them now you can say i want you to look in partials partials then i want you to look for at a file called messages HTML okay so once you have that actually for us to test it out I'm going to if I go back to our form which is here and reload and I try to submit you're going to see that we get a, an a CSRF request verification failure that's the one we got earlier on uh, when we were when we were writing our endpoint for checking val validations but in this case, we are mostly going to want to edit all forms on the website. So what you need to do is you need to make sure in every form declaration you have on the website, you have this one like added to it. So this is going to save you a lot of a lot of attacks, and it's it's generally something good to have. So I recommend having it and not disabling it using the CSRF decorator that we looked at. By the way, if you didn't get to see that, you can check out the previous videos in this, ser in this series. There's a lot to learn from there and we're basically building from that. Okay, so once we have that, now when we try to submit, you see we don't get the error and they, they tell us the page is not working. And that's because our form is not being <coughs> handled properly. So looking at our action, looking at our action, we are saying that this form should submit to a view with the name register. So. When you go back to our views.py, which are here, you notice that on the registration, we are not handling post requests, and yet the form is, set, is sending a post request. So I'm going to copy this and then create another function. So this function is going to handle post request, so it's going to take in post. Then we want it to, for now, we are going to test displaying the messages. So to display the message, you need to import it, of course, as we know, most of the stuff are already built into Django, which is awesome. So from Django, contrib import messages okay good so here we want to do messages dot add actually we do messages dot success if want to show like a success message success whatsapp something like this okay so i'm going to do the same okay so once we have something like this now when we submit this should handle the request and we'll possibly we should see an alert Okay, so when we come back to the site, reload, click submit. So we have an error. So here you need to pass in the request first. To so pass the request, that should be the first parameter always. So reload it, click submit. 
and then you see you get the message which is what we want which is good okay which is good which is what we want which is awesome okay so how do we now like show let's say we want to show like a warning one so i'm going to copy this paste 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 so this one is going to show warning warning i want this one to show an info then this one i want it to show i want this one to show error okay so th those are the common ones that you're going to be working with so put error here info and then success then warning as we already know here in our template we basically loop over all of them and show each one of them so when we return here and reload try to submit you're going to see that we get all of them but now we have a challenge they are all styled the same so how do we style them differently so to style them differently we are coming we are going to come to our 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 partial so here we are going to basically use for each one of them it's going to be like an alert so bushwap has this class called alert so i'm going to say alert sm just so it is small should be alert should be alert and sm i believe that should be fine so if we want to to like okay so alert alert sm and then this this is where things are going to get interesting so if when we save this and reload and try to submit you can see that yes now we have some styling coming in but we are not seeing the colors so for us to get the colors these tags actually relate mostly with with the, the corresponding javascript classes so what would be a tag for error in django is going to be a class for like danger is here success will be success info will be info so here we need to add a lot so to this to this tag class that's passed in we need to add a lot then dash so that's going to always prepend that's always going to append one of these so since the tags have these ones already this danger info success it's going to always like it's always going to append a lot to that very one that's that that, that django is sending us so now when we reload and try to submit you can see that wow we have our success we have our warning we have our info so now we need to remove these of course they are going to be useful that's why i'm going to make it a div so even here i will make it a div okay so looking good save it once submit again you see we have the errors but now we have an issue this is for for the error itself and this is because Django actually looks at it as error. So Bootstrap, uh, Bootstrap looks at it as danger and Django looks at it as error. So we need a way to fix that and the way we can fix that is we need to tap into Django and tell it to always look at what it knows as error for to send it in messages as, as danger such that Bootstrap can interpret it. So to do that, you're going to have to head over to your settings, main app settings file. So settings py. So right here, we need to define another constant for messages message tags i believe yeah message underscore tags so messages tags equals we need to set like the messages then dot dot error to to what we want so i'm going to come here and import messages so from oh sorry about that from django contrib import messages okay so once you have that now you can come over here and do messages so want to say whatever django considers as an error please know that for us we call it danger okay okay so save that so messages equals cannot assign cannot cannot messages underscore tags equals okay so this should be let's see messages dot error so this should be written like this so it should be in a dictionary format now when we run back our server make sure it's running and reload this page if we try to submit you can see that our error is actually coming through so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel just so you could keep in the loop as we keep learning more interesting stuff i'll see you guys in the next video